Got one. Good one. Good one. Good one, Dan. Oh, flew by the corner of that dock. I just, oh, just kidding. Came back for it. Got him. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode. Today's video is going to be another tournament fishing episode. As you guys just saw, we took off. There's only six boats fishing in this tournament. That's because only six boats qualified. This is the end of the year classic. This is what you work for all year long, and we have made it here. There's a lot of money in the pot for the amount of boats that are fishing. They're paying the top three spots. So all year, they collect a little bit of money from each entry fee, and that goes towards the classic. So this is what it's all about. We're trying to get first place, guys, looking for five fish over 14 inches, the best five that we can get. And uh, hopefully we're gonna get on them. If you guys have not watched the practice video, we did find a few fish, so we're headed to the first spot where we had a nice little pot of fish going. So hopefully first thing in the morning here, it's very, very cold, but hopefully they're gonna be biting. And uh, we're about to jump right into it. But today's video sponsor, before we jump into it, is Mystery Tackle Box. And if you guys do not know what Mystery Tackle Box is, they are a monthly based subscription service. And uh, they're actually sponsoring today's tournament video. And whoever wins big bass, whoever catches the biggest bass of the tournament, is gonna get that box right there. But if you guys wanna check out MTB, it is $9.99 for your first ever subscription. And you're gonna get like $25 to $30 worth of bait shipped to your doorstep. So all that's gonna be linked down below. And uh, whoever gets big bass is getting this box right here. But without further ado, let's jump into the tournament. We're about to pull up to the first spot and uh, start getting on them, guys. First spot of the morning, boys and girls. We are starting out with that jack hammer chatter, but I think that Dan's gonna flip the jig around. Try to get bass number one in the boat. Got one. There we go. First fish of the morning. It was like second cast. Oh, she popped off. She popped off. No. <sighs> Felt like a decent fish. That was like my second cast, guys. That is a good sign, but you never want to lose a fish, especially not the first one of the morning. Got him. Come on, stay pinned up. That's little, little guy. First one. Not gonna cut it. I don't think. I guess we'll pop him on a on the bump board. Yeah, that was three bites in a row right there on that chatterbait, guys. I think that this is gonna be like a 13 incher, but. We are rocking the Ego bump board today. If you guys want to check it out, gonna be in the link below. Hopefully she's gonna get a workout this morning as we get our limit in the boat. Yeah, that one's like a 13 and a half. Not quite gonna cut it, but they are eating the chatterbait. Definitely a few fish all stacked up right in front of this point. Got him, good one. All right, Dan's got them. They're stacked up right here. Oh yeah, yes sir. Oh yeah, get her in, get her in. Oh no, you got him tail hooked. How did that happen? Nice Yo, hit. that's crazy. He got hit on the jig and hooked it in the tail. I've never seen it. That's why I felt big, guys. That's gonna definitely uh, cause a fish to feel slightly larger. <laughs> got one. There we go. Come on, baby. That one might keep. Be close. I got her, Dan. She's like barely if she is. Dude, it's like every cast. Gonna have to bump a bunch of fish today. I don't think that one's gonna cut it either though. They're on fire though. Oh, she's like a, so close. Just, just shy, yeah. 13 and 7 eighth incher. Almost a keeper. There's gotta be some bigger ones mixed in here though, guys. They're crunching it. Huh? Yeah. Got him? Decent one. Dan's hooked up on the chatter. Switch over to the chatter bait since they seem to be eating that pretty good. Oh, there's there's a good one. Oh, it's a big old toothy critter. <laughs> big old toothy. Oh no, she's gonna run. Oh god. There we go. There we go. Oh god. Oh f man, I'm sorry. Oh wait. What's going on here? I got one on. What do I got? I got a pike too. Oh God, I got a jackhammer on there. I don't want to lose that. <laughs> Yo, what a predicament. He's got it like down his throat. I really don't want to lose this. I'm, I'm sorry, I lost yours. That was my B. I had Dane's, oh, who did the same thing, but mine stayed on, dude. Okay. Oh my god! Not a oh, mine did snap off, but mine stayed in too, <laughs> dude. What just happened? You guys, I don't know. That I don't know what just got captured on the GoPro. <laughs> but Dan hooked a pike. He was reeling it in, got it in the net, but then my line was wrapped around it, so I tried to like unwrap my pole because it was about to rip it in the water. 
And when I did that, I accidentally dropped his pike in. His chatterbait snapped off. Pike got away. I lifted my rod up, and there was a pike on there that must have just picked it up off the bottom. And then Dane pretty much did the same thing, but luckily mine snapped off and landed in the net. But still zero keepers in the boat, and uh, that was quite the predicament. <laughs> Dude. Got him. Finally, dude. It's not even a big one, guys, but we just went through a giant lull. You guys saw us start out. We caught like six fish in the first like five minutes of this tournament, and uh, we've just had a few dinks and a few short strikes since then, but feels good to get a bite. We're just kind of working around, throwing the chatterbait, mixing in the jig. I've thrown a spinnerbait. We've thrown pretty much everything at these fish, and uh, still seems like they want the chatterbait, just not as fast and the furious as you would like it to be. We're just not getting a ton of bites. They just don't seem to be committing to it, but... Still zero keepers in the boat, guys. We need five bass, and we have not got a single bass in the box so far. Not starting out how we would like to. Got one. Come on, stay pinned. I think that might be number one, Dan. Get her in here, she's barely hooked. Whoa. Should be close. It's like another 13, probably. Should be right on the... Uh, Right in the line though. Yeah, Dane just missed one on the jig and then we just chucked the chatterbait out there and got smoked. So we just hopped over to the other side and hopefully, it's a good sign, there might be some fish over here. Might like the shade over here actually. Let's see what we got here, she's gonna be close. She's a stocky one, I just don't know if she's gonna be quite 14. Oh yeah, all day. First keeper, we did it. Little largemouth. <laughs> it's a miracle, Dan. Took us about two hours to get one fish in the freaking boat on that jackhammer chatterbait. We got number one. Let's get four more, Dan. <laughs> Not a giant, but we are gonna take that fish. Like I said, we have been grinding out here, trying to get the first fish in the boat. Yeah, it seems like they're starting to bite now. Dan literally just got bit on that jig. We hooked out there and got smoked in the chatterbait, so something might have just flipped out here, guys. Thought we had something going on there. There we go. Come on, baby. Oh, it's a good one, it's a good one, Dan. Right side, right side, right side. Yes, sir. There we go. Fish number two. <laughs> Just talking about how, what the heck is going on. We had that little thing going on back there, and then we didn't get bit for another like 20, 30 minutes. So it seems like it's just gonna be slow and steady all day. You just gotta kind of pick them apart, and they're definitely eating that chatterbait, but that's a slightly better fish. One and a half, two pounder right there. Keeper number two in the box. We need three more fish, guys. Three more. Oh, got one, got one. There we go. Dan's got one on the jig. Oh yeah. Yes, sir. Another decent one, dude. Another like two pounder. That one smacked. Back to back, good fish right there. Dan just flipped that jig up. Shallow. Oh shoot, hold up. The trolling motor's taking off. Oh God, oh God. Oh no, I'm in this. Right, we're good, we're good. We got it. Okay, okay. Dan, nice fish, man. <laughs> Number? It right up here. That was awesome. Yeah, Dan just flipped that jig up there right into this grass. That's fish number three for us. The trolling motor started taking off on us. I don't know what the heck was going on there. Oh, flip by the corner of that dock. I just, oh, just kidding. Came back for it. Got him. Got him, Dan. Oh, it feels like a decent one. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it's a big gator. Oh, my God. Oh, there goes a jackhammer. And there goes a jackhammer, boys and girls. I honestly thought she was okay because I could see the bait. But she must have must have got it right in the corner of her mouth. Dude, she railed it. <laughs> oh no. It happens. No. Got one. Yep. Come on, come on. Coming in the boat. I don't know. Probably gonna be a little short. They're also short and stocky, man. Just ripping that chatterbait right along the edge there. She's gonna be a close one again. Let's see what we got. Dane just had a tough break. Had a decent bite. We don't know if it was a bass or a pike, but hit the motor and uh, snapped him off. Hold up, hold up, hold up, baby. Yeah. It's a very, very small. This one, we have to remember, this is the smallest one. So whatever color this is, this is the one. Black. Okay. Uh, green. Green. Green is the one that needs to go. Green means go. That's what this fish needs to do. But that is keeper number four. The one in the box. Let's 
Got one. Good one. Good one. Good one, Dan. Get him in there. There we go. Number five. Yes, sir. Smacked out the side of the boat. That's a chunk right there, boys and girls. They are just swiping this thing, though. They're barely getting that hook in their mouth. But I'm very glad to put that fish in the box. We need to get rid of that last one that I caught, though. That one was barely 14 inches. Oh, there you go. Just soaking the jig out there. <laughs> Dan just caught one, too. But another solid one. We have three decent bass and then two smaller ones. And uh, we're, we're calling now, boys. We finally got number five in the box. We thought that this was going to be like the first hour of the tournament, and uh, that just did not happen. But we'll take it. Yep, green is the next to go. Green is for sure the next to go. Oh, big one. It's got to be a pike. It came off. Oh, no, it didn't. It's running right. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's got to be a pike. It's going to break the rod, dude. Oh, yeah, gator. Whoa, he's got a butt. He's got a spinnerbait in his side. Do you see that? Yeah. <laughs> what? Okay, boys. There are some very healthy pike in this lake, as y'all can see. That's probably about a 30 inch gator right there on that jackhammer. I'm really glad I didn't lose it. it. Started running at me so fast that I thought it got off. Going back in. There she goes. This. There we go. Fish. It doesn't feel big. It's small. It's small. Oh. Say that and it might touch better than that one honestly right. she's probably weighs less but that's a long one that's what i'm saying yeah so. okay so this is going to be the next one to go we just made a call guys and uh we actually just lost weight but, that's but sometimes let's yeah sometimes that's what you have to do because that other one you really had to finesse his tail to get him to touch and this one was an easy 14 and a half inch yep so we're gonna roll with that guys safer safer Get one. Come on, baby. Oh, yeah. Yes. That's going to help. Damn. You could honestly just chuck that blue one out because we know for a fact that's the smallest. That super skinny one. Dan just called that one out that we just caught. Sounds good. Good one. Oh, good. Very good. That one is probably going to help. Jig turned up later in the day. The chatterbait was a bite all morning. And then uh, Dane just popped a couple nice ones right there, as you guys saw. All right. We only got like three minutes left to fish, guys, too. That was kind of a last second catch. We're about to go back to the weigh-in and see where we end up. Mm -hmm. oh, Not all of us have these skills. Like, <laughs> yeah. Here, where, where they sit. <laughs> We caught one smallmouth in practice, and that was it. Did you catch them all, Gene? <laughs> no, 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 I didn't catch them all. 10.49. We'll start with Big Bass. Andy and Chris, they get a stack of ones and five. <laughs> <laughs> like nobody's business. You also get the Mystery Tackle Box oh, Big Bass Tackle Award. Box. <laughs> yep. All right. How big was your fish? Four, was it 448? 448. 442. 442. 442. <laughs> Second place, Dan and Bill. Nice all right, guys. Good job, man. Thank you. That is going to be a wrap on today's video, guys. Huge shout out to Mr. Tackle Box for sponsoring today's video. If you guys want to check them out, it's all going to be linked down below. Get your first box for $9.99. You're going to get like $25 to $30 worth of baits. It's an awesome deal. Check it out down below. And uh, shout out to them for giving us the MTB for the big bass prize, too. Uh, four and a half, I think, pounder. About four and a half pounder won it. And uh, 15 pounds won the tournament. We ended up in second place with like 10 and a half pounds. So pretty big disparity between first and second. But they found the smallmouth. Everyone else pretty much had largemouth or really, really small, like river smallmouth. But they found those ones that came in from Lake Michigan. And they kind of blew the tournament away. But cannot complain about second place. Like I said, they paid first, second, and third for this. Because all the money throughout the regular season kind of goes to that classic. So there's a lot of money in the pot. And they're able to pay more boat spots. So second place, nice little payout for us. And an awesome time in the water. But thank you guys so much for watching. And I will catch you guys in the next one.